Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Zadian. This is Space Engineers and today we are going to start a brand new series. Now before we get started, I've got something important to tell you guys. Stick around to the end of this video and there's an important announcement at the end. So just uh, heads up, stick around, watch what's going on and uh, you'll see uh, something special at the end. Anyways, let's get this thing started. We're going to be doing a uh, custom game. We're going to be doing survival, star system. Uh, let's go ahead and name this uh, the... Uh, uh, come on now. There we go. The Redneck Star System. And go ahead and delete all this time and date stuff. because uh, we, we don't need that. We don't need that. Delete, delete, delete. Uh, we're going to be doing this on survival, offline mode. Uh, auto save enabled no mods um, we are gonna tweak this just a little <sighs> maybe we won't maybe we'll leave it on three times I don't know uh, we'll, we'll do the inventory size on the character we'll go to five times uh, blocks and assembler efficiency we're gonna leave that three refiner speed three welding speed is going to be bumped up to five because Jesus Christ no one needs that shit in their life also, same thing with uh, grinding speed, uh, environmental hostility, we're going to do normal. Um, asteroid intensity amount, uh, normal density, da, da 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 we got some other things we need to do here. Uh, we're going to enable spectator mode, because I might be doing some special shots with spectator mode. Uh, Reset ownership permit death. No. In game scripts, yes. Enable wolves, enable spiders. Um uh, blah, 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 blah. for more what? Stable behavior, okay. Uh don't need that. Don't need that either. Okay. We've got that all settled. We've got that. Start. All right, so for those of you who don't know, Space Engineers is a voxel-based um, kind of space-building uh, game where you build uh, you build different uh, types of things, and you mine, and you do all basically Minecraft in space, but a little bit more detailed. Uh, you'll kind of catch on to it as I go along. Some of you may have actually already seen this, since if most of the people on my channel are people who are inter interested in space stuff, you will have seen this before. Ooh. I was worried that we may have to respawn a couple of times because uh, you tend to not get a very good landing sometimes. You have to respawn, but uh, this uh, area seems to be pretty flat, and uh, there's some resources nearby, so this is actually going to be pretty perfect. Nice. Last time, when I was doing my test, I had to respawn like five times. So, there we are. We are on the ground. This is our starting pod. Uh, nothing special. Go into our character. We're going to hop out real quick and uh, show everything around. We're in third person view right now. So it's first person real quick. So, try to explain a few things just to kind of start out. We, we start with nothing, really. Um, this is our construction bar. There is a uh, progression to this game where you have to make things in order to unlock other pieces of technology and uh, so on and so forth. So we'll be running through this tech tree fairly quickly at the very beginning. Um, there's some advanced stuff in here that we're not going to need immediately, but uh, there's some stuff on our ship that we can actually go ahead and grind down and start um, getting some technology. Uh, but first things first, uh, we're, we're, we're going to want to kind of establish a original base of operations. This drop part pod is our lifeblood right now. It's got our um, our survival kit, which is this thing right here. This refills our energy, our battery pack, our H2, our O2, and our and it heals us. Uh, in the bottom left, you'll notice that there's a couple of icons there. The the J X O L. Um, o I think is wireless. I'm not too sure about that, but J is your helmet. So you can actually put your helmet, take your helmet on and off. When you're on an Earth-like planet like us, it's not really going to make that big of a difference whether you got your helmet on or not. You're automatically going to be 
re, um, getting your oxygen because we're on an Earth-like planet. Uh, X is our jetpack that allows us to fly around. Do all that fancy stuff. You can see we're flying. And yes, our jetpack is powerful enough to overcome the uh, 1G of gravity that we're in. Uh, which you can see the, the how much gravity you're in in the bottom right. You got AG and PG. PG is planet gravity. Um, so basically what we're going to do to start out is... First thing I'm going to do is just kind of tap this thing on that and reconstruct it. I don't have the technology for that. Shit. I'm calm down now. Alright, let's see. Basic assembler. Do I, we've got a basic assembler on here, if I remember. No, we don't. We just got a uh, survival kit. So, that was preemptive. Alright. Let's go ahead and get some materials from this. We're not going to be using this drop pod. We're going to be tearing it completely down towards the end. Um, and getting all the materials from it. Trying to not completely destroy this thing. These parts don't have a lot of health to them, so you can grind them down real quick. Plus, I've got the grinding speed up, too. So we're just getting a little bit of basic materials right now, uh, just to start out. It's going to annoy me if I don't, don't fix that. Uh, in our seat, if we go into our inventory, we start with a gun and some ammo. Go ahead and grab that. And then basically what we need to do is we need to scout out around. Uh, we need to uh, get some iron and stuff to uh, start processing ores and whatnot. Uh, there's also, I think, extra... Yes, an extra bottle of hydrogen. So that'll allow us to fly around a little bit longer. When we were coming in, I noticed that there was an ore deposit. And there it is over there. You, you can just see the outline of all that white specks over there. That signifies an ore deposit. Uh, that's not. That's just the terrain. But uh, those white specks over there is an ore deposit. So we need to go check that out because it's so close. It may actually be... There may be some iron or something there that we could use to start out. Let's see. It's magnesium. What else you got around here? Is it just magnesium? It's usually more than just one. But in this case, it actually looks like it's just a big old magnesium deposit. We do not need magnesium right now. Not even close to needing magnesium right now. So, let's see. It branches off all the way over here. Let's see. Magnesium. Silicon. Silicone is going to be important. But we can also get that from uh, from our, our uh, from just mining rock. So... Alright, that was a... That's a bust. I was really hoping it'd be an iron deposit. Uh, being close to an iron deposit this start at the start would make, uh, make life a little bit easier. So, what we're going to do is... Basically, we're just going to drill down until we get to some rock. Did not mean to do that. And uh, there's several different controls. Hopefully, the volume has been a little loud. Hold on. We turn that volume down a little bit. Uh, see, we're in the dirt level right now, and then see this is the rock level, and you'll see here in just a second, a little bit better. So that's dirt. You don't get a lot of resources from dirt. You get more from rock. So what I did is I just drilled down until we got into the rock layer, and now I'm just gonna gonna drill with some rock, get some get some of this good old fashioned rock, and then we're gonna process it. And get some uh, basic starting materials. Um, for those who are interested in playing this game, it is a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, I, I always have a blast with this game. It's one of those that I keep coming back to. Um, you can just hold down F and pick up all the rock you drilled. Uh, right click with the drill, just uh, mines through everything, and it doesn't save anything. Left click allows it to actually save. I think it's control shift for a thousand. It is. Um, control is five. Shift is a hundred. Control shift is a thousand. So we're going to start uh, processing this into ingots. 
and that's going to give us our first bits of iron, nickel, and silicon. We're going to take these iron, iron, nickel, and silicon, and we're going to turn that into uh, other things that will basically allow us to start building a base to where we can start processing stuff more efficiently and yada, 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 basically. So with that, and I've already got some iron plates. So you can see this is what we processed from that little bit of stone. I'm going to go get the rest of it real quick. Where did our little hole go? There it is. Fly down in our hole and get the rest of this rock. So off screen, I did a little bit more mining, not too much, like maybe a couple minutes worth and uh, got some more iron so we could start making some, some uh, production stuff. So let's go to this and let's make about a hundred iron plates let's prioritize those. And uh, this will get us started. We're going to, we're going to make a, a, like a, a small FOB basically. To, to start us out and uh, it's not gonna be anything too fancy literally just kind of getting us started here so I'm gonna fly up real quick and see again we're in a relatively flat area which is good I wouldn't mind moving more towards that ore but again it's not not anything too fancy um, let me get back on the ground real quick we're just gonna we're just gonna build out right here, and so uh, how how this works is you basically you put uh, this in the ground and attaches it that makes it a base, and we're gonna go check out that unknown signal. Oh, piece of candy. Let's see, get our grinder out. These uh, unknown signals are gonna pop in every once in a while, um, and they're gonna have a little goodie little goodie bag in them basically. So what you do is you come over here to this, and it's going to give you a chance to unlock a skin. Um, try your luck at a new special item. Oh, we did. We got a new one. We got the cow suit. Uh, so we can put that on when we eventually get a uh, uh, med bay. And then there's usually a... Is this it? No, that's the parachute. There's usually a, um, something on here where we can get a few parts. Basically, this is free stuff, so just break it down. Free, uh, free plates and free some some free parts. I don't think this one had anything. No, it didn't. Oh, there it is. There we go. We got 25 free free uh, interior plates for that. So we we'll just break the rest of it down. Okay. Now let's go back to what we were doing before we were interrupted by that. So we come over here, and we're going to start building out a platform to uh, build our base on. We're not going to go too crazy off the bat. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do... And I like to, if I can, try and stick them into the ground again, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. That way it looks a little bit more, you know, believable, I guess you could say. But what? God, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm so nervous. I haven't recorded in forever. Um, there we go. I can uh, throw that in the ground. Perfect. All right. Uh, so we're going to go up here. Uh, fill this out as best we can. So one, two, three. Oh, nope, using the wrong parts there, dick brains. Alright. Let's get the correct part, which is that. Two, three. So that'd be four, five. Four, five. Perfect. And then we'll fill this in. Sorry, I'm just trying to make it symmetrical. Uh, OCD and all, you know, it is a real disease. Uh, so we need to do that. Uh, and this. 
that, and that. And then we got our little platform. Sort of. I still got to fill this in. Damn it. Damn it. Come on now. Calm down. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. And bam. So that's the start of our platform. Let's build a ramp up to it. And that's going to be fun, isn't it? I'm trying to... Get a square up underneath there. I'm going to have to dig down again. Crap. Just the hair. Come on. Nope. Nope. There we go. Look at that. He's actually acting like he's played the game before. Alright. So we got a little platform up here. We got some starter things that we're gonna want to build, all right. So, and like I said, this is not this is temporary. This is not gonna be like our final base. This is just to get us started. So, uh, things we're gonna need is we're gonna need a basic refinery. We're gonna need a survival kit. We're gonna need a basic assembler. We're gonna need a medium or a uh, yeah. We'll do a medium cargo. Actually, or is it small cargo on here? I have to double check. And uh, we're going to need some power. So, to start out, let's go with the cargo and see if that's the correct one. It is not. It is a small cargo. Let's put this on there. There we go. All right. I just wanted to make sure that was what it was. So, we're going to need, uh, first and foremost, we're going to need a assembler. And... You'll see with the blocks that, uh, like, see that yellow square? That's a that's a conveyor hookup for that. This block only has, if as I spin around, only has one connector, right? So we're going to want to make sure that that connector is in the right spot. And there it is right there. So we're going to have it facing towards the right because right next to it, we are going to put an assembler. I mean, a, a, a refinery, refiner, whatever. Um, <laughs> words, English. This has two connections. As you can see, as I twist it around, it's only got two connections, one on the right, one on the left. So again, with this one, we're going to want to make sure that the connector is lined up properly, which it is. See the one on the right? That means there's one on the left. You can see it. So we're going to put that down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a cargo which is that and then next to the cargo container I'm going to put our survival kit which again oh sorry I didn't really show it on the cargo container but the cargo container has a conveyor point port on each side so it can go in any direction uh, the survival kits the same way where it has two one on um, one in there one there so we're gonna want to make sure that the survival kit goes directly into let's see yeah we want that computer screen facing forward and the cargo the, is going in and the connector blah blah is going into the cargo now what this means is that i can access any of these from any of these so i can come over here to this cargo port uh connector and access everything that's in this line it seems it may seem a little convoluted right now but um, it is going to get so much more con convoluted. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. So, next thing we need is we need power. Well, there's, there's two types of power we have access to right now. One of them is uh, solar. The other is wind. And this is going to be the one time where wind is better than solar, solar. Because we're on a planet that has a sunrise, sunset. And uh, so at half the time during, you know, half the time on the planet, we're, all, we're only going to be getting power. But with wind, we get power all the time. And also with wind, the higher you build it, the more power you gain. So we're going to want to build up a little bit. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll go eight. 
and then we're going to put this wind turbine up here and that's going to generate our power that runs all these things pretty simple kind of but it is it is, it is pretty simple so now we just need to put everything together which means we're going to need parts from our ship over there to put these things in because they're going to require more than what we have like for instance we can hover over this the wind turbine and it's going to tell us that we need uh 10 interior plates eight motors 20 connectors uh construction components uh 24 grid two computers and then you'll see a line to the left of it that says functional slash hack if we just had those components this thing would be fully operational but we we can add 30 interior plates to it to add kind of armor to it so it, it that way it can take some damage so we're, we're gonna do that so we're, we need we need a lot of stuff so we need some interior we need some god we need everything okay so we're gonna go over here to our ship where all our stuff still is and we are going to tell it that okay we've already told it we want plates so we got some plates we need interior plates so we're going to go to produ production go over here we're going to go ahead and make um some inter 100 interior plates 100 girders 100 construction components some computers rotors and that ought to get us going but right now we're missing components because we went through all our ore so we're going to need to go get some rock so i'm going to keep you guys here and when i come back i will have processed all the uh the ores that i need to get this going okay so just to bring you guys in here and give you kind of like an update i've been scouting around uh for cobalt finally found some uh, as you can see, pretty decent ways away from our, our drop pod. One of the things you can do in this game is uh, make new GPS coordinates so you can um, come back and see it later. What I like to do is uh, do CO for Cobalt, and that's that. Now I've got a GPS to come back here and uh, get some more Cobalt when I need it. So Cobalt's going to be one of those things that I need to uh, make grids in order to make uh, ca cargo containers. So I went ahead and just scouted out while I was uh, in the process of doing some mining and stuff. So there is also a very nice, uh, decent size uh, iron deposit very close to our respawn pod that uh, is going to come in very handy here soon. So I'll bring you guys back in when I get some more progress and we start uh, constructing stuff at the base. All right, so that gets our power going. The next thing we need to work on is I was throwing some stuff into the refinery. Uh, we need some more compute, two more computers, four more construction components, and twenty-eight. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Twenty-eight uh, more steel plates may have enough to finish this up. The reason I'm doing the refinery first is because it's far more efficient than the survival kit and a um, lot better, a lot better at producing stuff. So uh, let's see, do 10 of those. Yep, see, I gotta get more stone, get more stone. Damn it, bear right back. Can I just say how pretty this game is? Holy shit, look at that. You can see the two planets. That's a, uh, I think that's the Mars size planet, the Mars planet. And then that's the alien planet. We're we're gonna go to all of, all of them. We're gonna hit the moons and all that good stuff um, eventually. But I just just wanted to point that out. That, that's that's awesome and beautiful. That's why I love video games. It's they're unreal, man. It's unbelievable. Ah! A wolf came. Uh, I need to get my gun. Weapons. Uh, no. Where's uh, where's my gun? Shit. Um. I 
Man, seriously, how do I add the gun to my paw, my bar? There we go. It's not in character tools. Character weapons. There we go. So that's the first encounter we've had with the wolves. Did you get anything from wolves? Lock and load. I just got an achievement. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever had to do that. Nice. Alright, now this thing's completed. I can actually clear up my inventory by putting all this cobalt in there. Damn it. <laughs> I had an inventory slap full with the stuff. Alright, now we can actually start making some progress. Jeez. Alright, so since we got this bad boy work in the refinery, we definitely want to get the uh, the assembler going as well. That way we can start making stuff over here, and we can, you know, start moving away from that POS to actually kind of doing some, some good stuff over here. But eh, this thing's going to take a lot. So I'm probably going to have to uh, mine a lot more freaking stone and stuff. Uh, I may just actually pop over to this iron deposit and handle it over there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to drop all this stuff off and then... Is it mining the... Co it's mining the cobalt, right? Or refining it? Yeah. Cobalt, for whatever reason, goes really slow. So that's going to take a, a little bit anyways. Um, not that I need all that much to begin with. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Let's again throw that gravel on the ground... Uh, dump all this stuff off. I can get get some uh, get some fuel, and I'm gonna go mine that iron. And then I can come back and hopefully be able to finish up uh, that platform, and that'll be the end of this episode. I know it's kind of choppy, but first episodes and all, you know how they go. They're they're not the the most exciting stuff. It's more of an introduction into, you know, hey, this is what this is. So that one little iron run actually ended up giving me more iron than I had gotten the entire time mining, you know, all uh, stone. So it was definitely worth the uh, the the jog over there because uh, we'll be able to pr pretty much make all the the parts we need uh, to finish up this uh, production and get going. Uh, get get to our our good. Good goings are good goings. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, stretch. Sorry. Not our good goings. Our good starts. Start working on the the good stuff instead of working off of this thing. Because this thing is really bad. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the rest of that stone over there. Because even the 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 basic refinery will will refine all that stone down. Where this thing requires like 400 or something like that. In order to get it going, uh, the the other one's a lot more efficient. So, and the only reason we're building a survival kit over there is for this, for the respawn point and the recharge. So, even though we won't be using it to create things, we still do need it until we build a medical room, and we won't be building a medical room anytime soon. So, we we still need this. We still need this over there. It's just that we're we're going to be making stuff in a way more efficient manner with this uh, basic refinery and the, the the basic assembler. And we're getting close on the parts. That's good. Need construction components, motors, displays, computer. And this thing's going to keep chugging along. I just gave it some more steel plates. Ah, eh, fuck it. Um, let's see. Do I have you making... Ah, uh, production. Let's go ahead and cancel the rest of those. Get some motors going. I do got you making computers. That's good. And also the uh, the the basic assembler is going to be way faster at creating these stuff too. I don't know if I said that or not. So I do want you to make some of those. You can cancel that. I think that's enough motors. Let's get the computers. I only need about two. That's making computers fast, at least. That's good. 
probably good on everything. And then get a couple more uh, steel plates, and then uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. I think the steel plates are actually for the refinery, not the assembler. Let's see. Uh-oh, don't come in too hot, you'll kill yourself. Okay, I need uh, displays. I need two more displays and a lot more computers. But I did finish up that, so that's good. Uh, see, I can throw this stone in there. It's going to chew through it like it's nothing. Uh, displays and computers. How many more computers do I need? 69. Giggity. That is definitely the rest of the things that we needed to make this assembler. 100% is done. The refinery is done. The next thing we're going to work on is small cargo, which it will be done shortly because it just needs a little bit of TLC. Quit pressing the wrong buttons, you cheeky fuck. Just need a few more. This is, this is going to be our cargo container that I'm building right now. That way I can actually empty my inventory. See? Uh, it's uh, complete enough for me to use. So it's just got a couple more construction components that need to be put into it like that. Bam! Cargo container complete. So now we can store all our wonderful goodies in our small cargo container. And no longer have to worry about carrying some of that stuff around. Uh, let's see. Next episode, we're going to work on finishing up the survival kit. Which all the parts for the survival kit are actually in our ship. And we're going to... Finish completely breaking that down. I may do some sort of a montage. <coughs> Excuse me. I might do some sort of montage to... Uh, well, I'm breaking that down. I don't know. Uh, I got to make sure that... Uh, that's so awesome. Look at that. It's beautiful. You can go to those places. We're going to go to those planets. There's a moon there. And there's a moon... Around this planet, I believe. I just don't think we can see it at this time. Um, but yeah, we got places to go, people. Oh, sorry. Got places to go, places to places to see. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And as I promised, here is our special little surprise, special little announcement for everyone. Uh, I know you're probably um, excited for me to be back. I'm excited for me to be back. So, here you go with a special little... Um, announcement. That's right, everybody. Kerbal Space Program, the Redneck Space Program, is coming back. Uh, the first episode has been recorded. Uh, I'll uh, walk you through some of the stuff that we're going to be doing in that series uh, very soon in the um, first episode when it airs. Uh, this, this is the schedule for, for right now. Um, my recording abilities are few and far between. Uh, so... You're going to get one episode of Kerbal. You're going to get one episode of Space Engineers uh, every other week. So there's going to be one episode a week. Um, I haven't decided on what day yet. Uh, it's either going to be... It's probably going to be Fridays because Mondays are going to be uh, the podcast. So the podcast is going to continue to upload on YouTube. Then, Kerbal, then you'll either have Kerbal or Space Engineers on Friday. 
And then it'll continue like that for a while. Now, if I do get into an, a chance where an opportunity to where I can actually record more, I will put more out and you will get at least one episode of uh, Space Engineers and one episode of Kerbal Space Program each week. I don't know. I don't know when that's going to happen or if it's going to happen. But like I said, right now, I do find myself in the opportunity to start being able to record again because our youngest daughter, she's over a year old and she's a little bit less hands on -y as uh, she was whenever we uh, whenever she was first born. So uh, the recording opportunities are coming up again. However, keep in mind that even though this is a 20, 30 minute video for you guys, it took me well over an hour to record. So that's why we're only doing one episode per week for Kerbal Space Program and, um, you know, bouncing back and forth between first uh, Kerbal Space Program and Space Engineers. And that's because it, they are both very time consuming when it comes to recording and editing. Um, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just trying to slide back into this thing and not go full bore to where I'm like, oh god, I gotta record. So the other the other goal is, is I'll actually to uh, get a backlog as well. So that way I can actually, you know, if I get so many um, so far ahead, you can't we can switch to the two episodes a week plus the podcast. Um, on the screen right now, you will see all sorts of uh, tags and stuff and links and everything to um, the the podcast and to Twitter and, uh, and Instagram and all that other stuff as well. Guys, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow the podcast on Instagram. Follow everything. And, um, you know, let's make this a good community again. Bring it back to the way it was. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. We'll see you next time for more Space Engineers.